Okay, so here I am today um, doing the electrics. Um, I've got, uh, I've ran all the electric wires already, as you know, and uh, now I've been on a bit of a shopping trip. Um, got the breaker box and uh, various bits and bobs to carry on with the job. So I'll show you what I've done inside the house, um, leading the cables out to the service box. And uh, then we'll go and have a quick look inside and see where I'm at with the, uh, the breaker box. Okay, so as I've shown you, uh, all the wires, they run through the uh, studs. And the ones, they're supposed to be, this gap here is supposed to be um, I think one and a quarter inches away. And anything under that needs to receive one of these plates to protect it. So one and a quarter inches is the depth required there. If it's not, then we need a plate. The wires then all run into this area underneath the main window here. And I've just drilled out some holes. So this is the left side wires from operating the left side of the house. And these are the wires that run down the right side of the house. This is the 12 volt um, breaker box, which is going to be separate. There's going to be another wire coming in. I've got a spare hole here um, uh, Which will bring in the wire from the transformer So the power will go from the breaker in the 120 volt breaker box um, to an outdoor socket um, Outlet and then I will plug in the transformer to that outlet and then bring the 12 volt from the transformer through here up and I've got some holes um, in here that will I'll feed it and we'll just wire up this 12 volt breaker box. So I just used um, I think uh, 5 eighths or something like that drill bit to drill those three holes and uh, those holes are basically uh, lined up with an octagon box on either side. So let's go and take a look at that right now. Okay, so this is my service box. I have, uh, if you haven't seen, I've got a sliding door on the front. And uh, I'm just uh, halfway through installing the wires here and I thought I'd give you a quick, uh, quick demo of what's going on. So on the other side here, you can see the little shallow um, round boxes. They basically have little knockouts in them. And uh, this one here, you can see the knockout is still in place. I haven't knocked that one out, but I've knocked the others out. And then I used those little um, plugs that I screw in and they have little uh, clamps to clamp down the wires to keep them uh, in place. So I screwed in. I've got uh, the three on this side coming out and they're clamped in. And then on this side, I have three at the moment but as I mentioned on the other side, this, uh, this one here is for the 12 volt that will eventually run through that middle one there. Once uh, I've got everything set up there, I will put um, some spray foam in from the other side just to block that up. And then I have the breaker box here. It's just a sub panel um, as we're just going to be plugging in with 120 volts. Um, I'm going to just use this sub panel because we're, we have a 30 amp breaker on a post elsewhere that we're plugging into. Um, and I haven't yet decided what to do, whether to have uh, two ways of powering 30 amp and a 20 amp. So uh, we'll get into that another time. But for now, I've got the left side uh, of the house coming out here and then into these boxes. Now, some codes dictate only one wire per plug socket or per hole here, um, per box connector. So I have done that. Uh, it may be that uh, it, you're allowed to put two wires through one uh, connector, um, but I'm just keeping it simple and uh, as safe as I can. So I've knocked out the holes, one for each wire. I've only got seven circuits. Um, this is a four eight um, panel. So it's four circuits extendable to eight um, with the space saver breakers, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, so yeah, I'm just stripping down the wire. I bring it through, I've clamped them down here and um, I bring the wire through and then I strip it 
uh, and I pull off the insulation sleeve. On the very end of my insulation sleeve, when I was wiring it, I wrote where it goes. So this is the bedroom and the office power. And uh, so when I strip this whole wire off, I cut this piece off the end and slot it right back on to the live because that's going to go to the breaker. The white and the ground are going to get wired up. So the neutral is the white one which goes on this panel here and the ground is usually a, a bar that's connected to the very back on the metal of the breaker box itself. So the grounds will go there, the neutrals will go there and then all the breakers will be placed in here and the live, which is the black one, is going to go to the breaker. Um, I haven't wired in the mains power yet, but I have left a little hole for it here. So when I figure that out, I'm going to bring in the main power through here and then wire it up to the main power and uh, the main neutral, which is there. And then we'll fire it into the ground as well. So, and then the ground will ground to the trailer as well, which we'll probably get into a little bit later on. Um, so yeah, I'm just stripping these down now. I use a red, as you can see, for my 20 amps. It's usually should be a yellow, but uh, we had some red lying around, so I used the red. Um, it's basically supposed to be two lives, so there's um, a red and a black and a ground inside the red here. So what I need to do is to uh, I need to mark up the red cable as white because that red one is the neutral and the black is the live. It's just that this, is, uh, this, this kind of wire is designed to run two lives, um, but I'm gonna just change it to run the one live and then we'll set that red to be the neutral. So on that one, again, I slotted on the name here. So that's the kitchen. Um, that's gonna be the kitchen outlets. So I've slotted that little tag back onto the live. And then uh, I'll, a bit further down the red cable here, I just added some white tape just so I know for myself that that is the ground. And then when I trim this down and, and, and fire it into the box, I will mark up the, the whole thing as white. I will just wrap white electric tape around it so we know that it's the neutral. Uh, I'm going to finish wiring this box up and then uh, try and figure out what's best to do with regards to bringing power into this breaker box. Okay, so it's taken me uh, a couple hours to get this wired in. Um, I'm not an electrician. This is the first thing I've ever wired, apart from the inside of the house. Um, so uh, don't take this as textbook. At this stage, I'm going to get an electrician to check it over before I fire it up. Um, but I'll just talk you through what I have done. And uh, it seems to make sense to me. And uh, based on all the things I've seen and uh, previous breaker boxes filled in, um, it seems to make sense. So, uh, yeah, let me show you. Here you can see how the uh, labels I've left on the cables and uh, how the cables split out. So currently I have, this is a four circuit breaker which is expandable to eight, which means the standard size breaker, which this, this one here you see with two 15s on it, is the standard width breaker, but it has two breakers built in. So there is two wires going into it and they'll basically act as two breakers in the size of one. So um, this four circuit breaker can act as eight. So this currently has six circuits, three on each side of the house. And uh, they basically, once you've split the insulating uh, stuff off it, um, the white goes to this um, neutral bar here. And then the ground bare copper runs down along and from every wire into this grounding bar which is just tucked right in behind here so everything is uh, grounded into there and tightened down 
uh, as you see I've left all the labels on so I know what's what um, and I've tried to make it as neat as possible so all the ground uh, neutral wires you can see and follow nice and neatly and uh, the uh, ground wires the same and then the lives uh, the black ones which I've just left on the labels and they all go into the breakers um, one of these breakers um, I'm hoping to add well as you can see this is the 20 um, that's for the two um, red sets of cables so uh, this one goes to the uh, in wall heater and this one will go to the kitchen outlets so they both run up you can see the red sheathing there, kitchen, and that one says heater on it. And they go up into the 20. And then everything else is 15. I am going to run another um, breaker here. And that's going to be a 15 and a 20. So you can get the, them diff with different um, amps on the breakers. So the 15 and 20, the 20 I'm going to use to come out to um, basically one of these guys. I've got a, a GFCI for outdoors um, and that's just going to mount uh, somewhere around here on the wall below the, below the box. Uh, I have the main kind of box here for it too so that's going to get wired up there and uh, the 15 I'll use for another outlet as well uh, which will be in here or it might just be there to expand if I need at some point. So that's where I've got to so far. I do need to run main power into here and uh, that's then going to supply um, the main in for the positive there and then I'll feed the neutral to this one. So we'll check that another time once I've figured out how I'm going to progress from here.